We got our first look at the newest Pokemon games coming to the Nintendo Switch today in the form of a trailer from a Pokemon Direct. So today I just wanted to address a few things from the trailer, give my honest opinion, kind of reaction, not really, and uh, just talk it out with you guys in the discussion, because my comments aren't disabled. So if you would sign in, like to share the video, get ready to click the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date with me, and we're going to jump right in to a few details from this Pokemon trailer. Pokemon Sword and Shield. So Pokemon Sword and Shield takes place in a new region that looks very, very similar to like Britain mixed in with several other countries, several other features from other countries as well. It's a very, very pretty region. There's no questioning that, but especially with the bumped up graphics of the Nintendo Switch itself. We were introduced to some familiar faces like some Pokemon from previous entries, uh, Pokemon from Black and White, as well as Pikachu, uh, good old classic Pikachu, of course. You can't have Pokemon without a Pikachu. Uh, but we also were able to see some Pokemon caught, some Pokemon battles, and again, they kind of just showed off some older Pokemon at first. Some Pokemon that are very, very well known from the previous generations while showing off the region itself, which is cool. There's different places that we're going to visit that look, look very nice. There's soccer stadium or uh, football, better known as football for people who are in the countries outside of America, I guess. I don't know. America's very strange with soccer and football. Nevertheless, uh, it's obviously going to be something very, very similar to the training that you were able to do, and I believe it was X and Y. Now, there's three new starter Pokemon. There's a Fire Rabbit, which is pretty cool. There's a Water Lizard, Sobble. If you guys haven't heard of Sobble Gang yet, you will. Don't worry. Sobble Gang. And then um, there's kind of a chimp grass type Pokemon. Now, I gotta tell you, I think the Fire Rabbit is alright, and I think the Water Lizard is pretty cool, but the Grass Chimp is not at all. I have nothing good to say about that starter Pokemon. I don't think that starter Pokemon is going to be anything special. It just reminds me of previous uh, Grass type, Monkey type Pokemon, Chimps, Orangutans, things like that, so you know, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe you feel a little bit different, but I don't think that'll be pretty cool. We haven't seen the evolutions. We haven't seen the legendary Pokemon yet. We've only seen the region, which is Galar region, and it's really based on some some type of uh, modern day, which evolved off of medieval times, because you have the crest of Pokemon Sword and Shield showing up to definitely show that it's very, very similar to Britain, mixed in with some other regions put in there. Uh, from the real world, you know, perhaps uh, Greenland or Ireland are thrown in there. Perhaps uh, there's some uh, other portions of other countries on the bottom portion mixed in. I don't know. It's an island, so again, it's very, very similar to uh, Britain, England in that sense. It even has the Big Ben uh, clock tower, so I don't know what this region exactly is or what it's exactly going to be. But it definitely looks interesting and definitely looks colorful and beautiful. We have very limited information right now other than three starters. Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. So take away what you want from this trailer. I think it's pretty cool. It feels like Nintendo are the only ones trailblazing right now where the other companies are just sitting around uh, playing it safe. This is cool, man. I really appreciate what we're getting out of Nintendo right now and uh, I can't wait to play these games. You let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below and I've been your host Pritamari and I'm signing out. As always, good gaming, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.